Andrew, you guys are headed on to a state semifinal. Uh, just how's it feel? Feels pretty good. We've been wor working hard all season. People have been saying you guys lost a lot, but we just we're a solid team still. We work hard. Week 9, you guys came down into Stanbury. They were able to beat you guys and take the conference title, but you guys get the win tonight on their home field. Uh, what was the difference? This time we played with a lot more energy. We didn't turn the ball over, and we played salt and salt defense. You and Caleb tonight were kind of a two-headed monster. Had you both run over 100 yards. Uh, how, how do you explain that? We both just work hard together. We have good communication. We know how to just read each other's blocks. Tell me about your night. You are able to find the end zone. Uh, what was working for you? It's just our linemen are the best. That's all I can say. Is they're, they do their job, and I just have to do my job. You guys are now just two wins away from repeating as state champions. What's it going to take to do that? Just hard work and good practices and pay attention. Caleb, you guys are headed to a state semifinal after a win over Stanbury. How's it feel? Uh, it's amazing. It feels amazing. We've been working so hard for this. We finally got one step, one step to where we want to go. You guys met in week nine with the GRC conference tie on the line. They got the best of you, but you guys are able to flip the script tonight. What was the difference? Uh, you know, we're just hungry. You know, after a loss like that, we just we come back so much, so much powerful, and we want so much more. Tell me about your night. I believe you had a rushing touchdown. You also caught one on a little bit of a trickery play. Uh, just take me through your night. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, that's just that's just little X and O's right there. It's the and O's. Looking ahead now, um, obviously you guys don't know who you're going to play yet. Looks like it's going to be Pattonsburg, another team that you guys fell to earlier this year. Uh, what's it going to take to get the win? Uh, you know, just just come out hungry like we did tonight. You know, energy stays. You know, we're all going out hitting hard. Jacob, you guys are headed back to a state semifinal. Uh, what's going through your mind right now? Very happy with our team. We worked hard all week, all summer. We had the two games for Stanbury circled on our calendar. We knew we were going to have to go through them twice once again, and we came out and got it done. Tell me about going through them twice. They got the best of you guys the first time. You guys get them tonight. What was the difference maker? Like we knew in the first game we hurt ourselves a lot. We were starting first and 15, multiple penalties, and we knew this time if we didn't hurt ourselves, we were a better team on the field. You had a pretty efficient night passing as well, and uh, it's no secret it's really cold. How difficult was that? Uh, it didn't face me much. Number two, Brian McCourty ran some great routes for me, and I was able to find him a lot tonight. Take us through your night. You were able to, to get in the end zone once. You also had a passing touchdown. Just kind of walk us through it. Well, on the fourth down and one one, we went on two, got even closer. He we said, follow my big guys up front. I will let him nope, get touched. You guys now just two wins away from repeating as state champions. Uh, what's, what's it going to take? It's going to take a lot of grit, a lot of grind this weekend. We, we know the patents work pretty good. We're going to stop the pass. But... Coach, you guys are back to a state semifinal after an impressive win over Stanbury. How's it feel? feels pretty special. I mean, these guys came out and played hard tonight against a good Stanbury team, and we had to avenge a loss against, obviously, the best, best team in the state coming in, and our guys played hard. You guys came down here in week nine with the conference tie on the line. They got the best to you. You guys flipped a script tonight. What do you think the difference maker was? Oh, I mean, there's a lot. The first time, defensively, I thought we played pretty well. We just didn't get off the field on fourth down. You know, offensively, the first time, we didn't play very good. Up front, our heads were spinning quite a bit. We didn't get in the right position a lot of times on blocks, and, and it showed, and we didn't move the ball very well. So those two things were big, and then just the desire to come out and compete and, and do what you can to get the job done. Defensively, you guys did a really good job of shutting down their two-headed monster in Cole Durbin and Trey Sheber. What was the secret there? Just being physical up front and doing your job. I mean, anytime they run that midline option offense, you have to be consistent with your job, or, or Sheber will make you miss and, and go for a big one, or Durbin will pull and go for a big one. And Overall, I think we only had one or two breakdowns as far as responsibilities. And, so, I mean, anytime you do that against a team like Stanbury, you're going to have success. Last year, you guys had one of the more dominant teams I've ever seen, but you lost a lot of pieces from that team. At the beginning of the season, did you think you'd be right here with the chance to repeat? You always hope to be right here. I mean, last year we lost a special group of seniors, but this year's seniors are, are pretty special as well. They've worked hard in the off season to get here. And, you know, at camp, we kind of had the idea that, that we were going to be all right, but you got to get better every week. And these guys have, have put in the work to get better and got us to this position. You guys avenged the loss to Stanbury tonight. We don't know who you're going to play yet, but it looks like it's going to be Pattonsburg, who was your guys' other loss this year. What's it going to take to avenge that one? Oh, it's going to take a lot of work on pass coverage this week. They're, they're pretty good. I mean, that Will Height kid doesn't miss many passes, and, and they got a lot of kids on the edge that make plays. So defensively, we're going to have to fly around and, and stop that passing game. Offensively, we're going to have to do better. I mean, they come hard up front, so we're going to have to do better at stopping that and, and keeping the ball a little bit.